You know, I've been thinking, Reggie. This gravity-bending engine we're making here. We could use it for more than just faster-than-light travel. We could use it for time travel as well. This is how I think it would work. Don't... don't even think about that. It's not possible. It's just not. That's not like you, Reggie. You've seen the engineering data. We could do this. It's not the engineering. It's the logic behind it. It doesn't work. It's, uh... <clears throat> it's, uh, feasible, and, uh, we're going to do it. Look, even if you could physically travel back and forth in time, it would still be meaningless. Time travel? It's, uh, <clears throat> only a, uh, godlike power, Reggie. It's like this. Let's say you get this machine to work. If you travel forward in time, you're going to see something that is either beneficial or a danger to you in the future. When you get back to the present, you're going to try to make the positive things happen or the bad things not happen. And that intervention is going to change the future to such an extent that your ability to predict the future based on your trip would be meaningless. And don't get me started about the dangers of traveling into the past. I know, I know, the old paradox where if I kill my father before he conceives me, I can't have been born to go back and kill him. Look, the beanheads in research say that's not the way it works. If it happened, it can't not have happened. And what if you create a hell on earth accidentally through your meddling somehow? That's the uh, best part. You just keep going back again and again until you fix it. Foster, don't you see how this really works? You can't ever fix a mistake in the past. Let's say you go back in time, screw something up, and then you go back before the incident to fix it. You've got two possible outcomes. Either you fail to fix things, in which case the bad thing continues, or you are successful. But that's worse yet. If you succeeded, then the problem never occurred in the first place. So there was never a reason to go back in the past to fix it. If you fix the past, you never go back in time to fix the past. Hence, the problem continues. You either fail and are doomed, or you succeed and the problem is still not fixed. Reggie, that's uh, got to be the stupidest smart thing I've ever heard. Thank God, we're not too late to stop ourselves.